dramatic snowy peaks and lush valleys, welcome to Pakistan-administered Kashmir. Here, deep in the Himalayas, the disputed border with India is not far away. But that didn't stop 600,000 holidaymakers flocking to the region last year. This family escaped the sweltering heat of Karachi and discovered Kashmir's beauty for the first time. Neelam Valley looks very beautiful. As soon as I entered the valley, I started feeling the cold breeze, and I feel like I'm on top of a mountain. Thanks to God, we saw that nature is in its full swing here. There is beauty everywhere. The river is looking very beautiful. We are enjoying the good weather of Kashmir, and also feel secure. Security fears have badly damaged Pakistani tourism, and foreigners don't come to this part of Kashmir. Last month, 10 foreign climbers were shot dead by Islamist gunmen about 70 miles away. However, one guest house manager is optimistic as the holiday season gets underway. After the attack on foreign tourists in the northern area of Pakistan, which is close to here, around 5% of guests were confused and they telephoned me to check whether they could make a trip to Kashmir or not. I told them Kashmir is a safe place for tourists. His first guest house in 2006, he now owns four. A ceasefire in the Indian and Pakistani held zones of the Himalayan region has held since November 2003 and Pakistanis are increasingly coming to Neelam Valley. The tourist flow has been boosted in Neelam Valley this past year. The government and the private sectors are encouraging the local population to invest more in the tourism business. We have 115 registered guest houses in Neelam Valley. They were built by local people. The tourism boom is welcome in a region where many men have traditionally left behind their families to work in Pakistan's largest cities. But the season is short. In October, the snow will come and the valley will close until spring.